Uh, we're going to start this section with the sun, where TikTok yeah. Turks terrorise London. They do. Turkish and Albanian gangs have joined forces to terrorise London as they mock weak UK and flaunt guns on TikTok. Um, I don't look at TikTok a lot. I haven't seen any of this, but apparently there's loads of examples. Um, there's clips. There's a clip here. It says two men wearing balaclavas sit in the front of a 160,000-pound supercar, posing for a rap video to be posted on TikTok. And it gives a bunch of examples. Uh, uh, it says this is the swaggering arrogance born from an emerging alliance between Turkish and Albanian gangs. The idea, so... Cressida, isn't the idea here that they're saying you can't deport us? Your your rules yeah. are so lax that we can do whatever we want. We can we can dance around with guns. I don't know if they are dancing, but it's TikTok, so they probably are. Highly we can nice. we can juggle cocaine. And you're going to... Rishi, Juggle. you're not going to do it. Well, what do they do with cocaine? Chuck it about? Uh, you, no, they <laughs> take it. Take you smear, it, smear it on your gums, <laughs> don't you, with a spatula. That's, I, it's something like that. That's one of the options. It's one of the ways to do it. So, Lewis, um, it is a bit grating, isn't it? Like, and, uh, it, But maybe this will send a message to the government saying, you know... Well, you... there are some measures. Apparently, it's, it's getting better, but it's, it's not... It's not good enough. No. Well, it's just one of those stories. I was when I when I came to this country about 30 years ago to visit for a visit. Yeah. And I saw I saw an incident in the street where some like Rasta guy was like giving a policeman a really hard time, and he just seemed so powerless right in front of the pol this policeman. This is this, there's always this. There's always immigrant groups who are taking advantage of the system, and eventually they calm down. But why why doesn't that annoy the politicians more? I mean, we saw it the other day, but the, you described the police. Yeah. There were those guys on the Winston Churchill statue, one of the statues in London, yeah. setting off fireworks or whatever. The police were just saying, get down, come on, get down. They were just ignoring them. You know, you Because they think... don't have guns and they're not willing to kill people. So it, we need to take on the American approach, which well, is just to have are, guns. You know, I think it's terrifying having police with guns, I'll be honest. I don't... It is terrifying to have police That's with the point, guns, but it? it keeps people... It, it keeps certain people well better behaved. I'm not advocating killing anybody. Oh, my God, I'm like Mr. Kilt. You're unbelievable. Kill. What, what is interesting here is that they've started this removals process and yes. it has caused the number of Albanians to drop dramatically. Right. Which is kind of interesting, isn't it? Because sometimes people say with the Rwanda plan, if you just set up something so that people... So it's not fruitful. But it's weird with Albania because there isn't a war in Albania. So well, I, don't, I don't really understand why they're... Well, they're economic migrants, aren't they? Let's be honest. They want, make, they want to make money off TikTok videos. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're all economic. You can do that anywhere. 